Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. Today, we're going to be trading the open strategy again. Um, so this is the uh, what I consider to be the perfect layout um, for trading this type of a strategy. So we'll go over that in just a second. <clears throat> and then we'll be doing some live trading and I'll be doing a recap. Um, so this is this whole strategy is designed to last just a few minutes. And actually, remember, guys, I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is an entertainment channel only. So we're going to be giving you tips and tricks on how to trade and showing you demonstration videos. And then there's all kinds of videos on the channel for, you know, how to set up your scanners, your charts, how to get free layouts, how to get free, all these free custom scripts we have, um, you know, how to how to. Uh, um, see which way the market's going. And then there's the RV strategy, which is one of the most popular strategies out there. It's traded since last March, that we have tons of videos on how to trade that strategy, as well as different open strategies. This is a new one. Um, we'll have this one that is maybe a great way to start your day every day to um, cut back on maybe having that second job <coughs> or whatever. Um, so anyway, please read that. So what we have here is we're going to be trading Apple. I'm going to be trading 500 shares. So if you've made the PDT rule so you can day trade, what's so great about this strategy, guys, is that you don't have to have 25K because really, if you just trade three days a week, what we've been finding out, this is almost a one and done uh, trade. Like one trade, get it right, right after pre-market is broken, get in, get out on the profit lines, pick your profit, and you're done. One trade. And that's pretty much where people have been having the most success. So they've been maxing, everybody's been maxing their share size to their full account. So if you did have 25K, you could, you'd have $100,000 to margin, and you could afford 500 shares of Apple. So if you're looking for one good setup, one good trade, that if it doesn't work, bail out. I mean, the second you get in, it's like, you know, if it doesn't break out, bail out, kind of at least break the way you want, <clears throat> the way you've called it, then get out. And then then you might um, wish that you had a day trading account and had more funds because you could only do three trades a week, you know, if you didn't have a pattern day trading account. But um, really, it's more like if it didn't work, then just call it a day. You don't have to trade every day. Or this is a specific strategy that's it's designed for one or two trades, maybe three. Um, most people have been doing just one. Most people, well, <clears throat> the last few days, it's been discussed that it might be a one trade strategy. And, you know, that might be all I do today, depending on what I see. Um, so we'll, we'll look at it. Um, but I like the idea. Um, a lot of times in the afternoon when I'm free freestyle scalping, uh, and I'm sure I'll show you that sometimes, I just, I just come into a stock. I mark the levels that I see right then in the intraday. I just, and I just wait and I watch it for a little bit. And I just see like, is it bouncing off that level all the time? Is it bouncing off that? Oh, it went back up. That's not perfect. Don't get it on the dip. Wait for it to start going up, you know, off that level. And then slam in a large amount of shares, right? And you just go for five, 10 cents. You just, you know, and then suddenly you have two, three, four hundred dollars on one trade, you know, so, and I'm waiting for that like perfect setup. I'm having that patience to just wait for it to, to tell me time after time after time that it respects a level. So um, waiting, and then if you have, you know, multi-chart alignment, the volume increases, you know, there's a lot of things to look, read that book, Day Trading Volume 1. It has like how to take the perfect trade from professional traders in there, um, what you look for. Um, that is the best-selling book, Day Trading Volume 1. I recommend uh, getting that for not just the RV strategy, but just a perfect alignment. You know, scalping can seduce you into thinking you have to take all these trades. And really, scalping is the same thing with just one, two, or three trades. You're just waiting to get in and out very quickly on a perfect alignment. You don't have to, but but it it seduces you that it's a, it's like a video game. It does me anyway, and a lot of other people. I just want to keep trading. And you can overtrade so quickly. <clears throat> and then you just stop looking for the setups, and you just start thinking, I, I just know. I know what's going to happen. And there, there's, the, there's the real danger. But anyway, we'll be starting to trade in just a minute. Sorry, I got off there. But that's kind of what's been happening with this strategy. So I want to go in with that mindset like I'm sure this is going to be a short video anyway because the strategy is not designed to go more than 15 minutes. After it 
breaks a 15-minute high or low, that's a different open strategy that we're working on, not to be uh, too confusing, but they are putting out a book that has multiple open strategies. And there is a lot of people that like to wait for that first 15-minute candle. That's not what this is. This strategy is when it breaks the pre-market high or pre-market low, you get in and then you, you have profit lines, and I'll show you where those profit lines are, and you decide whether or not to when you want to get out. Usually, if it traces halfway the opposite direction you're trading it, halfway down the candle that just happened, that's when you get out. But there are things that, like you, you've called it wrong, you know, so you get out. Um, but there are things that can trump that if it's, it's a, a, like in the bridge game, not the political candidate. There are things that... Um, can change that way of thinking other other indicators and things uh and then you know i i hate to use when anybody says i felt like it was going to go that way i get very angry when i I'm, I'm asking them to explain something to me why did you take that trade why did you think that was i just felt it was okay that is not something i can ever teach i never want to hear those words come out of your mouth i felt that way right but having said that there is some credence to when feeling is just a way of say the intuition is a way of not being able to describe what you see, right? That's what you're feeling. You see it and you can't describe why you think it's going to work. You've seen the indicators. It's not a message from above. It's not an internal feeling, right? It's all math and logic and, you know, everything's there in front of you. Our brains just can't put it out there, right? So, so we'll call it a feeling or we'll call it intuition. But the reality is that, you know, 99 times out of 100, unless you're just guessing, you saw something. If you're an experienced trader, you saw something. So I don't want to say that you shouldn't go with your gut. You shouldn't go with your feeling. You should. But I also think that it would be great if, if you, back, you went back and back tested and took, you know, use your log books. Remember, it's the whole reason I started making YouTube videos was to get people to log. Um, and use your log book and uh, talk to yourself, like why? And then sooner or later, that intuition will, you'll start to be able to explain it because I don't like to be around traders that just say, oh, I felt like it. I can't use that. I can't, I can't translate that to you guys, right? Um, but yet I do know what they're saying at the same time. So it's sort of an oxymoron there. But Anyway, so here's a one-minute chart, and this is what we'll be trading on. I'll go over what these lines are in just a second. Here's your level two. Okay, this is a, th a uh, three-hour chart. So we'll talk about why this is here. This is a three-hour chart, right? 30, I'm sorry, 30-minute is what I mean, 30-minute chart. Um, this is the active trader. This is a, another one-minute chart that has my uh, scalp and indicator closer where I can see it because I'm looking at these numbers, this, this, and this. I'm kind of looking like an egg shape. If you've seen some of my other videos, when I do the open strategy, I don't have a lot of time to make decisions, especially if there's only one or two trades. Then I have another five-minute chart down here. I have minimized down here the SPY, which I've already looked at. And then I have Apple News, and I have Apple on another. Uh, and this is the day chart down here. So we don't really need to look at open those. I've already decided about Apple today. So I looked at a lot of things. Uh, and that's a lot of stuff when we start teaching the swing strategy, a lot more detail about um, how you see which way the market's going to go and how you see which way a stock's going to go each individual day. We're going to have a lot more data on that coming up this year uh, and releasing a bunch of stuff. And now, again, they interviewed me again um, just yesterday about my thoughts about this strategy. So I'm going to, you know, I shared my thoughts with the, they're writing the book and I don't know if they've got writer's block or whatever, but it's taken a long time. I think it just keeps expanding because you can't really write a book if a strategy's not working. <laughs> you know, the, the, the book has to be on a strategy that works. So, and when you talk to all these people, it's like, then everybody has to test it based on what everybody said. And then you kind of mesh things together and create like a brand new strategy or two strategies. It doesn't have to be new, it just has to be put out there to people. So let's talk about what we have here. So if we open up the five minute chart here, and I uh, get that bigger. You're going to see that I marked a Fibonacci here. See the Fibonacci here? So I went back and did a high low there just a few days back. Then I went back further than five days. I went back 10 days back um, to mark profit because there just wasn't enough outside these. I should have showed you where I marked these pre-market highs and low first. We'll talk about that in second, just a second. So wherever there is a pivot point on a five-minute chart, wherever you see multiple pivots, 
I'm going to say that's a potential area where the stock could stop, rest, or turn around, um, or go rest and go back forward. So if you're trying to do a quick scalp, you're looking to get a profit right then, and then look for re-entry. That's, that's what this is about. Get a big, get a quick profit, look for re-entry. It's not a hold and watch it play out. That's not what this strategy is. So when you look at the um, profit down here, there was a lot of different areas that were marked that I picked up on down here too to take profit. So, um, and that is the pre-market low and this is the pre-market high. So at first earlier, it seemed like it might be that we were gonna trade up here uh, and now, it looks more like we're going to be down here trading, taking profit down here. Now, if it is already broken, the pre-market low, then we go for the next line is considered to be the low, the next level. And then we trade, we enter off of that. So right now, actually, I don't know where we are on this. Uh, okay, so we're back up through it again. So where do we mark the pre-market high and low? Now, I went into this a little bit uh, in another video um, recently, a couple, three days ago. Um, about uh, why that was becoming a problem to mark this. Like we had it originally from, um, I think it was 7.30 to 9.15, uh, yeah, 9.15. And everybody was rushing to, you know, to adjust their pre-market low. And then everybody, did, there was a lot of back testing done. And it came up with doing the mean average of a 30-minute candle. So this is the 30-minute that closed at 9 o'clock. Well, I'm sorry, a half hour before market opens, depending on your time frame. This, this candlestick closed a half hour. So you're marking the body only, high and low. And if you hover over the candle, you can see the close, 168.72. And the open might be under my picture. Uh, and that was 170.58. So uh, as you can see, those are 170.58 and then 168.72. Um, and it says it right there. So you can find it without having to kind of guess it says it up there by near my picture. So you mark those out. And now the whole strategy is you wait for it to break it after the, after the nine, um, a minute after the market opens, after all the market orders flush out, you then make a decision. And you, if you're up in the middle here, you got no play till it breaks the pre-market low or the pre-market high. So the whole idea of the strategy is that it's creating an inertia powerful enough to break the pre-market high and pre-market low. And then you have a short period of time, logic would tell you to jump on that moving wave and make some money. So I do have a, um, a group with me here today, and we're going to be doing that, trading that way, and we have just a few minutes. But that's how I just, and it's wide in here because if you're in between the pre-market high and the pre-market low, you should not be taking a trade according to this strategy. I started to mark them, and I just thought there was, there was no point. I'm just going to tell you guys it was running out of time. But, um, but anyway, and then these, you don't have to mark profit. I made them red. That means short. Green means long because you're pre-breaking that. So it just depends uh, which way you're going to go. Uh, let me just zoom in here a little bit here. I'll only be doing market. There will be people trading with me doing following exactly the same. Uh, they take their own trades. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. We're, getting, we're having some real redonkulous pre-market action. That did not happen. So, uh, And over here, it's red <laughs> So, uh, on, a, on the one minute. Um, so how are we reconciling here? It appears to be it's our market maker. Yeah, that's, that's of course, that's market, not uh, limit. So, yeah, I shouldn't even be looking at that. That's not moving. So here's your asking bid over here. And that is uh, right on. So that's right on. Okay. So we just wanted to make sure there were no, when I saw that big shadow wick, I got a little concerned. We were having some reconciling issues. So I'll be looking at the scalpers indicator a little bit, particularly before I take the opening trade. So this is free on this channel, along with this layout. A couple of videos back, I gave a free uh, how to get the link for this layout and this script. So just read the uh, thumbnails. Um, this is an amazing, uh, everything on the channel is free, by the way, guys, all the videos you can watch about so many different things. Minute and a half, guys. Um, 
So it looks like we may be going in immediately because we've already broken this. So then we just need it to break this if it hasn't by the time or the next one down and then we go in. But we do want to wait a minute. We have to wait a full minute. So it'll be over here that we start to take our trade on the open session is the dark black. We have one minute to go. Suspense is building. <laughs> and... Uh, I know I'm waiting for, I don't have my, my cursor even over those yet because I know I'm waiting for the, uh, for the first one minute to pass by, pass us by. So just about 30 seconds, guys, we'll be starting. Hopefully you understand how I did the layout. I basically just need a five minute chart to do your Fibonacci, your profit. You can do everything on a five minute chart, um, lay out all these lines or even a one minute chart, really, honestly. And just mark it out. And now you're kind of going for one, two, or three trades. Uh, you're totally done in 15 minutes. And uh, depending on the action, I will decide whether I'm going to take more than I'm more inclined to take more than one trade. But I want to make sure that um, everybody's understanding you're trying to make 100, 150, maybe 200 bucks and get out. Call it a day. That's 500 or 1,000 a week or, or you know, more depending on your situation here. So it does look like we're going to end up going short from the looks of this. So we just have to wait and see. It's got to be after a minute and breaking down through that pre-market low. It may jump up, so um, be careful here. There it goes up. So it may, it may go way up um, and not come back down. I was about to say before it comes down, it might not even come back down. So... Um, Yeah, so let's see what happens. It's a long way up there, though. <laughs> so we're way closer to this. So I'm going to keep this magnified at this area. Ten seconds till we can, we, we're we able to take a trade. Uh, now we're just waiting. Now we just wait out. So it's a few seconds. So, okay, so we're not, there's no trade to take now, guys. We have to wait for it to break, either the pre-market high or the pre-market low. The second it does, I'm in. The second it does. So I'm getting ready for a plunge here thinking it's it's going to do one of those plunges now apple doesn't move really quick which is great because it makes it nice and safe uh, to trade it but uh, you're not going to get okay that was close i almost pushed because i thought i was going to break that fib and go through the pre-market low so let's see what happens here that's at 72 72 if you look at the market maker 68 72 is what we're really looking for right up here uh, there's 85, 84. Yeah, it's just not going through, guys. So just give it a chance. Be patient. I wish it would go through a little stronger. So I don't want it to be pulling right back up after we get in. But that's well, that's the nature of the trade, right? So we are hanging. We are being patient. Very patient. Just starting to make a bigger move. Lower lows. Hold your breath. <laughs> no, don't hold your breath. Uh, wow, it just, it's just not coming down. This is the thing about a Apple. It's kind of frustrating because <laughs> it just sits in one. But for this kind of strategy, it's really safe, which is great. So it's safe to trade large share size with this kind of strategy. So, man, I almost pushed it again thinking that it was going to break it, but it didn't. There. Oh, that wasn't it. Sorry, guys. I went in too soon. I saw the seven. So let's, let's hope it breaks it or I, I've broken the rules. So you really should not go in until it breaks. I, I was a trigger finger there. OK, well, at least I got redeemed. I would go in now. So my position's a little better than it would have been had I followed the rules. Sorry, it's at 80. It actually popped up to 80. So it should be 72. So there's the first profit I could have taken, 130. Yeah, I got to start concentrating on what I'm doing here. Um, so now the next line is one. I'm going for a bigger profit. So I would ride it to go halfway up this before I get out, if, if I've called it wrong. Um, halfway up this big candle. Um, now I'm looking to get down here. I will look at the, uh, let me just see what we got here. I'm going to look at the scalpers indicator here to try to help me out here. A lot more volume going up than down right now, which is not, you see this high one was an upward move. Whoa. There you go. 
So remember, you got to cover. You got to buy to get out here, guys. So that was very tempting to take it at that, but it's a strong move. So I'll go for the bigger money. Now this is where you're happy. It's you're good to get out, and you've made a nice trade for the day. You're good to get out right here. So I'm looking for this double line to get out. That's where I'll absolutely call it a day on that double line. We've got a double resistance there. So did it hit it? It one, two ish. Yeah. Oh, it pulled back. Oh, I should have grabbed it there. Um, two forty. I'm looking at my money. Two seventy. I'll take that. Okay. So I'll take that at 260. So now really I the way the strategy reads is that you want it to break up where you just came through and then come back down again before you get in. I've been finding I prefer that and I've only traded this particular tra strategy 5 times now. I've been finding that I want it to go up past there and come back down again, past the pre-market. I've found I've had better luck than trying to churn in here because these stocks do not give me the range I need. They're very low ATRs. This is 3.5, rough, roughly ATR. Now, another way to trade it was to go through once it broke those lines and go in. But again, I've been finding that not too accurate either because um, you're like kind of chasing it. Um, so the first trade, this is why people are saying – one and done a lot that the first trade seems to be the best trade on this and that is not bad for a day all right so that's that's not bad times five if you could do that five days in a row uh, or even you know fifty dollars one day and 200 the next and so on so you can get up to 800 a thousand a week before you know what happened you know three four thousand a month um, there's the mortgage payment car payment food you know, however you want to look at it, however your lifestyle is. Now, this strategy is not to play a reverse. This is not, we do not have any data that says what to do here. Now, you could look at volume. You know, you, you, there's other things you could do. Other, I'm sure there are people that are telling you they have an indicator that told you to do that. But how accurate is that indicator? I've got no clue. So... This is why the back testing is is by so many different professional traders is, is it really helps, you know. So um, to me, that felt like a no-brainer. I, I realized that I could have lost the profit and it could have gone back and kept going. And then I would have taken a small loss, but I was going for a winning trade. And I understood that halfway through that could have been my downfall, which would have been 500 shares times, uh, you know, that would have been about 10, 20, maybe 60 to $70 I would have lost as opposed to making 260. So I had my eyes on this from the very beginning. Um, but I, the way this was going to react might have made me take the profit here. The way that it bounced through here and here at the same time um, told me that, um, hold it, you know, and it hit here and came back. Um, but with this candle opening here, I'm like, just just give it a second. And then there it went, you know. I had a feeling. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I didn't have a feeling. Um, so, um, so, guys, that's that's the strategy. That's This is going to be a short video because – um, you know, I kind of just went back over what I just showed you, which is how I traded that. So, you know, there was touch and go, and this is where you want the patience. You know, I did go in a little early, so really, technically, that should probably be 230 or something. Uh, what was it? Eight cents early. So that would have been $225 had I followed the rules. You don't know with – there's not going to be much slippage. I mean, there's a penny spread, sometimes two. Um and you're going to get filled with 500 shares in, in a New York minute, as they say, um, with Apple. Apple is no problem. These are Every one of these numbers is multiplied by 100 and half. Some say 70% of this is now hidden. Because if you're a professional trader, um, why not? If you, ha if you can hide your trade and nobody can see it sitting there waiting, why wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, so, and that is something that they offer that you can do. So... Um, in that way, you don't, you're not sitting here waiting to push a button. You, you, set your, you set your price and you hide it from everybody. So see how hard this would have been to trade? So I'm really glad I'm not trading this because I could only have traded the shorts. 
And maybe I could have captured these. I mean, that that would have been the – actually, either one of these would have been legal to trade and, uh, and the strategy – um, that I would have called it legal trade when, and those could have been that that's the same move. I could have made the same move again right there. And I was talking, I kind of made up in my mind that it was one and done. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to, um, I don't want you guys to walk away from a trade like that with this strategy. I don't want you to lose. That is a really good profit for a single trade at the open. I mean, that's, you you should bank that and go do something in life that you enjoy. That's my opinion, or come back to a brand new strategy. Um, but again, it's up to everybody. Trades a different way, um, and you might want to you might want to do something completely different. So hopefully, guys, this video was helpful. I know it's short. This is the open strategy videos are going to be short. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Remember, there's a link to all the best books that, that I recommend getting, Day Trading Volume 1 through 3, uh, Best Loser Wins, and Trading in the Zone. All help you become uh, better traders. And then learning the patterns. Uh, I should have talked about that a little bit. It's a little too early here to get into patterns. After the 15-minute mark, you could really start to, you know, see that as an in, as a shooting star, an inverted hammer, as a spinning top, as, you know, see the reversals, a hangman, you know. Um, but you can't on the first candle. This is not enough um, data to read those patterns. Um, pe some people think it's a huge leap just to read them intraday. That is not true. Uh, you know, studies have definitely shown that. And they're in the book, the Day Trading Volume 2, they have a rating system which is you're definitely going to want to get that. And then um, if you go over to the Million Dollar Margin Club's channel, which is the one that the scalping indicator is from, so it's million hyphen, not those, it's a hyphen, million hyphen dollar hyphen Margin Club's channel. Um, they have, uh, they're the ones that started the shorts over there with John Bull Bear that shows you the patterns to, to, to read and to guess, as well as the review of the books uh, on video, which is really cool. So I would check out that channel um, and join their, join their club. I know that when we stream, those, those are the first people that I'm going to be inviting, the ones that are in that club that are helping the, the book sell. Um, but anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching and stay green out there, stay inquisitive, and I will see you down the road.